Hey guys, Robert Plank here, and today I'm going to show you how to run your own webinar. And a webinar is pretty much a live stream of your screen and your voice to an audience. So you can run classes live, you can run uh, free training, you can run paid training, you can do live demonstrations of a piece of software, of your browser, or of a PowerPoint presentation. And it's all much easier than trying to stream a normal video recording recording of your head and your shoulder and your body. You don't have to worry about any of that. This is a screencast type of thing where it shows what's on your screen here and broadcasts out to all your attendees. So all you have to do is get an account with uh, GoToWebinar. Just go to GoToWebinar.com and get an account. And it costs $99 a month, which is very reasonable. So once you have your account, click on Login. I'm going to type in my details here and click on Login. And GoToWebinar comes with GoToMeeting as well, but I never use it. Uh, just use a webinar. So we go to My Webinars, and they'll list the different webinars that you have uh, coming up, things like that. But we want to schedule a new webinar. So we're going to schedule a webinar, and it will have a title, and they will give you a link. And what you do is you pass the link around to your friends or your subscribers or your students or whoever you want to have access to this webinar, and then they get registered for it. Then when it comes time to join the webinar, then they'll click on it and you know end up seeing your screen, hearing your voice. Click on Schedule a Webinar, and what we'll do is we'll type in the name of our training. So let's say you were running a a, core, or a training session, or I should say an hour of you know a class where you said something like how to install WordPress in uh, under 59 minutes. Okay, and so we just name this, and now below this you can put a description, but I always, always, always just copy the title and put that there as a description. No one really reads it anyway. And then we're going to schedule the time and date for this webinar. So I'll just schedule this for some random date and some random time. So make sure that these are both, you know, PM, these are both runs about an hour. And then we choose the time zone. Uh, and you know, I usually set either my my local time or Eastern time because many of my students, my subscribers, are running on Eastern time. But just keep that in mind. Uh, schedule it for whatever time zone. I usually don't recur; just have it run one single session. And I don't touch anything else here unless I am uh, adding a co-host. But I'm just going to skip that. I'm going to skip the next step. And then I'm going to clear all this so it just asks for first name, last name, email address, and we're going to create the webinar. So what's happened now is you get an email with the information, but we can go down here and find this webinar that we've scheduled here, and we can uh, hit this plus sign and get the link. We can see who registered and how many registered, and then uh, we can even get a list of every single person who has signed up for the webinar. And after it's over, you can even download a, another report that shows who showed up, what they asked you, how long they stayed on. But what's important now is just this link. You have this link right here, and what you do is basically, like I said, you log back in, click on My Webinars, and you'll see this webinar that you have scheduled this plus sign you pop it out and then you can get this link and you can right click and copy link address or copy link location and then just give this to whoever you want to sign up for the webinar and now if we open up what they see is they'll see one of these pages where it says here's the webinar coming up here is the time it will be and they can adjust it to whatever time zone that they are currently on but then they type in their first name last name email address and if the webinar is running it'll join but other than that then it will get them uh, ready for the webinar and they will get reminders up until it happens and then when it does happen they will get they can click on a link and they will be able to join a webinar instantly so what you do is when it comes time to run your webinar you come back here you click on the start button and what this will do is whoops it will just run your webinar okay and looks like it is coming up got this connecting window here that you should see and after a few seconds then it will log you in and you might hear, um, you know, like an introductory message and stuff like that. But you now, you've now begun your webinar, and you can hit the start broadcast button to broadcast your audio. You can share your screen, and you are on your way. So thanks for watching. My name is Robert Plank, and if you want to claim your free GoToWebinar account, go on over right now to WebinarCrusher.com and.
have a terrific day.